who lives in that squalid home in Blackstone, appeared in court this morning. That's where we'll begin our coverage this Friday afternoon, the 12th of September. Yesterday, authorities found the bodies of three infants inside that home that was infested with vermin and soiled diapers. And today, the woman who lived there was in court to face charges. NBC 10's Susie Steimel is outside the courthouse in Uxbridge this noon hour. Susie? Well, Frank, the details of this story are difficult to talk about. Children living in filth covered in their own feces. Police only heard about this story because a neighbor called about a crying child. That's when DCYF got involved and saved the four kids living in this deplorable home and took Erica Murray to court. We now know at least one person being held responsible for the deplorable conditions inside 23 St. Paul Street, where police found three dead infants, dead animals, piles of diapers, garbage, and mice. 31-year-old Erica Murray appears in court, charged with fetal death and concealment, witness intimidation, animal cruelty, and permitting substantial injury to a child. Four kids were living inside this home. Two are hers. Police couldn't find birth records for the others. Her defense attorney confirms she is mentally ill. Put aside the issues of, um, you know, the tragedies involving the allegations of, of these infants, just the circumstances of living in a house like that or trying to raise kids in a house like that. Um, you know, how, how can you not be shocked? It's very disturbing. Uh... Restless night, sleep last night, knowing that they found the three infants. Allison Valandry runs a daycare down the street. She's hoping police don't find anything else inside this condemned home. Hopefully there's no more infants inside. Other neighbors worry about their kids, as word has spread quickly in this small community. I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, the kids are all hearing about it in school. People are talking. And that's why it's important that we get information so we can protect our children and kind of teach them about what's going on in a very safe and, and, and trusting manner. Court records have been impounded to protect the children involved in this case. Erica's attorney pleaded not guilty on her behalf. Both parties agreed she should be held without bail, and she's due back in court October 14th. Live in Oxbridge, Susie Steimel, NBC 10 News.